<laughs> Welcome once again to another episode of the Gothic Witch's Kitchen. <laughs> I laugh because it's funny. What's funny? I don't know. It's a Monday. <laughs> yeah. Today, we will be making a devilish delight. Something very easy that anyone can do. And it involves poison. Poison apples. <laughs> Today, we're going to make a frightfully easy dessert. The first two hours, you barely have to do anything. Let the crock pot do your work. We're going to be making an apple filling. You can use it for pies or for crumb. Apple crumb. <laughs> Crumbs. But today, we're going to be making it even easier. After we make our filling, we'll be making it with croissant and cream cheese and then baking it. <laughs> the men love it, trust me. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do today with our lovely poison apples is we're going to tear the flesh off of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me give you a hint. If you have a cheap cutting board like me with no feet, cheap, the trick is to put down a towel, put the cutting board on top of it, and it will not slide. We do not want to lose fingers in our kitchen. At least not our fingers. <laughs> I have ten. So, I'm not washing them because we will be stripping the flesh from them. Now what you're gonna do is we get a core, a nice instrument of torture. Uh, we're gonna stab it in. So we put it in and we try to scoop it around and scoop out the core. Just rotate it. <laughs> we stripped out the guts. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> okay, that one's done. Now, I'm going to core the other three. We're doing four apples today. I'm going to do the other three and then we will peel them. <laughs> Get out of there, you guts. <laughs> you stay there, you naughty, naughty son. Stay. This is so good. Mm, we have successfully pulled the guts out of the apples. Apple guts. Mm. <laughs> okay. Now, we are going to peel them. I have a different peeler because my core sucks. We're going to start from the top and we're just going to peel down. Please be mindful of your thumb. We do not want blood in our kitchen. Not ours. 
<laughs> it's okay if a little peel stays on, but most of it needs to come off for the apples to cook properly. Now, you can have the skins as a nutritious snack because they are chocker buck full of vitamins. Or you can do like I'm going to do. And if you have a compost pile, a baggie, or a bin, you can add them to it. I have a bin, I have a bag of compost scraps in my freezer for next year's garden. And that's where they go. So, I'm going to be quiet for a minute because we're going to speed this shit up. Now, once we have the apples peeled, we will chop them. <laughs> Why was that up like that? <laughs> We're going to chop them right down the middle. And then we're going to chop them in half. And we're going to do small slices, but not too small. You want them about that thick because if they're any thinner, they're not, they're going to break down too much and you're going to be making applesauce. And we don't want applesauce. Not today. Do not make fun of my knife skills, for I have none. As long as my fingers don't come off, that's all that matters to me. We have an escape. We have an escapee! As you see, the apples are turning brown. We're going to stop that right now by adding some lemon juice. Lemon juice will stop the browning process. I am scared of knives! Believe it or not, it makes it very hard to chop up children. <laughs> That's why I have a grinder. This is so easy. This is ridiculous. We added our little bit of lemon juice. Yeah, a little bit more. A little bit of lemon juice. Stop the browning process. Now, what we're going to do... My fucking hands. On my nice towel, donated from my friend Bess. His name is Henry. <laughs> okay, we're going to take one tablespoon of syrup. It is supposed to be maple. I cannot afford it. I have cheap shit. And that's what we're using. Damn it. One, one tablespoon of syrup. <laughs> Drizzle that in there really nice. And then we're going to use a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. <laughs> the nut of a chick named Meg. Or is she a chick named Meg that is nutty? <laughs> we may never know. Half a teaspoon of nutmeg sprinkled generously throughout the apples. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon, sprinkled generously throughout the apples. Mmm. We're going to give it a stir, a toss, whatever you want to call it. Now, we take and we put them on high. Mmm. Look at the fall goodness. It already smells incredible. Do not cook your tablespoon. Mmm, so good, so good, look at that, we'll cover it, and we'll come back in two hours. 
one more thing you have to do while the apples are cooking in the crock pot go ahead and put out four ounces of cream cheese to get to room temperature now cream cheese comes in an eight ounce brick so what does that tell you cut it in half you want it to be room temperature because it needs to be easy to mix the four ounce mark is right there that's where we're going to cut Put the rest of your cream cheese back in the fridge. Actually, I'm going to wrap the end of this in plastic wrap so that it doesn't get, because it'll get hard. <laughs> Two hours are up and the poison apples are ready to be used for this experiment. <laughs> Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is spray our pen. This should be an 8x8 pen. My 8x8 pen sucks. I only use it for brownies. This is a 9x9. It will do. I promise you can stretch the ingredients. Canola. Don't use olive oil. Ugh. Who wants olive oil in the dessert, right? The oven is preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to hand cream together. Half a cup of granulated sugar. The oven is done. Four ounces of cream cheese. And a meh, vanilla. It's supposed to be half. We don't do the rules here. I'm going to do a full teaspoon color of vanilla. <laughs> Witches don't follow the rules. <laughs> <laughs> Cream cheese! We're just, I'm just gonna squish it out of the packet. Why open it? Just squish it. Squish it! Squish it! <laughs> Squishy! <laughs> Get every little bit out! <laughs> Uh, I love cream cheese. <laughs> okay, now we're going to cream it together. <laughs> it's still kind of a pain, even though it's room temperature. <laughs> the next thing we're going to do is we're going to melt a quarter of a cup, that's half a stick of butter. I do not use salted butter, I only use unsalted sweet cream. I do not use margarine, it's disgusting. We're gonna put that on a low heat, slowly melt it because butter will burn. We're going to open a package of crescent rolls. <laughs> We're going to open them up. Eh, somehow. Ha! <laughs> you open the package of crescent. Oh! Oh! The guns popped out on their own! <laughs> oh! How delightful! We're going to take half. We're going to take half of the roll and we're going to unroll it. Press the seams together. I did go ahead and switch to my 8x8 pan because the 9x9 was just too big. So I've pressed the seams together of half of the thing of crescent rolls, which is four triangles. You press the seams together, put it on the bottom of the pan. This pan is greased. Don't forget. And then we're going to scoop out our cream cheese mixture. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's so 
such goodness. Oh, such cheesy, creamy goodness. Oh, we're going to take it and we're just going to spread it all over. Oh, all over. Get all of it out of the bottom because it's good. All of this is good. We're going to spread it. Can you see? I don't know if you can see me spreading it, but I'm go we're going to spread this on the bottom. It's a little bit thick, so it's kind of a little bit of a pain in the butt, but just work at it. Now that we have the cream cheese spread on the bottom of the crescent layer, we're going to load the apples in the apples. I will take you with me. This is the dough with the cream cheese mixture. And oh, oh, the apples, they smell like fall is in my kitchen. <laughs> Now, if you do not want to hand make your apples, you can use a can of apple pie filling. But to me, part of the fun is at least making part of this homemade. But the rest of these cinnamon apples are beautiful on top of vanilla ice cream. What we're going to do is we're going to unroll the rest of these crescent rolls Pinch the seams together just like the bottom and we're going to cover the top. I need both hands to do this, so... The last step that we have to do is we're going to pour the melted butter, which kind of looks like the remains of my sister who lived in the West when some little bitch poured water on her. <laughs> Anywho, we're going to pour the butter on top of the crust. Oh my god, oh that looks so... Oh, that just looks evil right there. We're pouring it on top. <laughs> and then we're going to sprinkle cinnamon on top. <laughs> Make sure it's on the sprinkle side. Sprinkle. And we're going to sprinkle it like maniacs. And then we're going to put a little, little bit of sugar on the top. Just to... Uh, it's like an evil snow for our mouths. <laughs> uh, we're sprinkling. <laughs> the sprinkled goodness is complete. Now, we are going to put it uncovered into our 350 degree oven for 30 minutes until it's dead. Dead! <laughs> Cook it. Watch out for your witch sleeves, for they shall catch fire. We'll be back when it's done. <laughs> now, the time has come to check on our creation. <laughs> I get excited. <laughs> Make sure you put your glove on, because as we know from Salem, witches burn. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> watch your witch leaves. <laughs> household for I have two hungry men. The crust is perfect. Now it is time to dissect it. <laughs> Let's eat. We pulled this out. Look at the goodness. Look. <laughs> Apples and cream cheese is so naughty. It's so naughty. <laughs> Enjoy. 
Okay. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Gothic Witch's Kitchen. It was delightfully good pulling the guts out of the apples. <laughs> Nothing is safe with me. Subscribe. I hold in my hand and I think of nothing because it's Monday. Puck! Ah! 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 And that's what happens when you have cheap shit! Somebody give me a fucking gift card to a real kitchen store, please! Dang it! <laughs> Mommy's going nuts, monkey! Mommy's going nuts and she just can't stop herself! I know it! I see a wiggle bunny! I see a wiggle bunny! Oh, she's wiggly! Oh! Yes, yes! She's a good helper! Damn this thing! <laughs> Monkey's looking at me like, Mommy's silly! Yes, she is! Oh, Mommy's silly! Such a good monkey paying attention to Mama! Putting up with all her crap. This was supposed to be five! Five apples! And my ass forgot one because it was in the back. Screw it! Now I've got to fucking peel another apple. <laughs>